over the last year, you know, there have been a ton of dreadful events, you know, from Ferguson to New York, things like that. And there's certainly more desire for people to hold cities accountable. What was interesting about Ferguson is like, the, the shooting was the culmination. Like, leading up to that, there was like all these fines that the city kind of put on people who couldn't afford these, these fines. And they kind of put them effectively in like a debtor's prison, you know, that they couldn't get out of it. And that, you know, that sort of relationship between citizens and government is not, not right. You know, like I, I strongly, strongly believe that that's an injustice. And for most people in this country, it's fine to say we live in a democracy and it's fine to say we have all these rights. Those rights begin and end in your ability to access legal resources to basically preserve them and if you can't access legal resources then those rights and that democracy that that we like to preach about doesn't really exist then that's you know that's what I get passionate about right now we fix people's parking tickets so that's how we think of ourselves as the easiest way to fix a parking ticket. But broader vision for the company is to fix lots of legal problems and trivial legal issues that, that users have. I always contested my own tickets. Like, I really think the parking ticket um, system is, is a racket run by the city. You know, the, the government has given the city the right to uh, issue these tickets, to um, judge if these tickets are, are, are fairly issued and then collect all the money from them. And it's just ripe for abuse. And that's what cities do. They see it as a form of, of revenue. And at a matter of principle, I always just contested my parking tickets until one time last year, I, I had let four tickets build up and I didn't have time to write the contest letters. And instead I just paid them. And then I came back to my car. There was another two tickets on the car. One of them was complete BS. And I was like ranting and raving to someone about this and they just suggested, why don't you make an app to contest your parking tickets? So we built a fake web page just to kind of test conversions and things like that. And it was, it, it, for whatever reason, it resonated with people and within the first week it had been shared so many times. We certainly hit on a, on a nerve. You know, people, people get really angry about parking tickets, like way more than, than, than the cost of them, even though the cost is, is significant. There's something about, there's something about, you know, the man has just screwed you over and there's nothing you can do about it. And, Everyone you meet has a parking ticket story. And so, you know, we tapped into that emotion that people have about it. Like the people who get the parking tickets are not those that can afford to put their car in a parking garage. The people who have to park on the street, who use their car as part of their, you know, their livelihood or whatever. And we see it all the time. People who get parking tickets, they really struggle to pay them. We just made our product as, as easy as possible for the, for the user to use. And we continue to do that. We continue to kind of strip away complexity and we continue to strip away um, work that the user has to do to, to contest their ticket. We get a lot of people who just, they just write and they tell us, we're so thankful you guys exist. You know, we're, we're happy that someone is, is doing this to keep the city in check.